when you use the razor, notice that there are three sections here, right? There's this section here, which has little tiny holes and something cutting inside, and another one over here like that. That's what's cutting anything that's short. Anything that's long, kind of like a, a beard, is going to be cut by this section here. That section has little fingers that are parallel to each other, and they kind of go like, like that, you know. So uh, that enables you to cut hair even if it's a bit long. So when you're cutting hair that seems a bit long to you, there are two things you can do. The one I just mentioned, you can put this straight on the face, boom, on the, you know, straight on the face, Zzz. or uh, in order to kind of uh, get things a bit shorter, and then once a little area is a bit shorter, then you want to use these sections, so then you can rotate it around or move it, or even have this area specifically against the face, not straight on. There's a second way to make things shorter. It's actually what I do. I think I kind of prefer it. It just seems more straightforward to me. All shavers have a little thing you pop out, and it's got the same thing. It's got the, the parallel fingers that are going back and forth to cut. Um, and I will actually use that to, if the walls, what I'm cutting here, I will actually go, you know, turn it on. I won't turn it on. Bzzz and put it against the face and go bzzz, against like my neck or something and lawnmower an area and then once I think it's pretty close you know close enough it's not you know it's tiny enough then I'll use this stuff and move it around up and down maybe in circles who knows whatever you want but so that these the hairs that are now shorter can enter these little tiny spots right here that seems to work well